Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for August 6th to August 12th, 2018. So before we start, as this is going to be a four card spread, I want to remind you that the monthly videos are up on the channel, so if you haven't a uh, chance to watch them, if you didn't have the chance to watch them by now, you are welcome to browse them and to kind of like uh, take a look and be forewarned for the month of August. So that being said, guys, uh, the first card of your month uh, of your weekly reading here that uh, covers up the topic of the week. This is going to be the Hierophant card with the second one that stands for uh, the core of the situation. That is going to be the Eight of Wands. Third one represents the challenges to be overcome here. We have the chariot card and the last one represents the topic. Not the topic but the guidance. From Tarot we have the Queen of uh, Wands. So due that week, Aries says that things are, are rather going to calm down in your, in your fields. Uh, from career to relate to relationship as well. I mean, uh, what this reading here is showing is that things are going to fall into their places. You know, in case you had certain arguments, you are you were facing a predicaments which are off topic in a sense they were kind of awkward and weird to be there, and you had no idea why actually things are going so wrong. Now, during that particular week, things are going to normalize then they will fall into place. Now the core of the situation here with the Eights of uh, Wands does not represent the very fast motion as usually this card uh, is a sign of, but rather it will represent the agility of, of your mind and the, and the subtlety of your actions of how you will be able to, you know, to basically make a use of everything that you do have on your disposal and exactly fit uh, the means that you have uh, in your plan and um, deal with those predicaments that I taught, uh, I talked about, and they are not exactly, you know, uh, self-imposed um, on their own accord. But they, uh, but they are were existing. It is because something with the approach that you have taken, either toward your relationship or either toward your career, I was a little bit off the topic so it's kind of like you cause them uh, by yourself by not the by not doing what you're supposed to do or by by not taking the uh, the conventional approach toward the situation here but you are trying to be let's say a uh, creative you are trying to be original especially if we're talking about the career and what happens during that week is we do have the hierophant card into the main position it does represent that uh, career and relationship wise uh, the projects that you're gonna deal with and the enterprises are going to rather um, unfold as they are supposed to unfold and uh, that does not speak for any material gains it does not speak for any tremendous emotions of love but it does speak for um, slow and steady approach it does speak for insights uh, that you will uh, kind of uh, obtain and you will become more aware of the nature of the issue or the nature of the situation and as well it does speaks for a um, a trust that you and your partner and your colleagues and uh, in between you and your supervisor or your boss are the, the trust there is going to increase drastically so it's kind of like you will have more uh, more means regarding emotional uh, regarding human connection to work with <clears throat> and uh, it is likely that uh, arrivals if you had recently they will be no longer in present or they will no longer be rivals uh, to you but rather supportatives and then we do have the chariot card which represents the obstacles to be overcome and that represents the impulse that you are going to have to basically break clean with the past and jump forward into the future and as it is an obstacle here it would be it would it will be benefit you if you rather slow your motion your your um, approach a little bit you know so you can kind of like uh, consolidate your position of uh, a leadership because this card does point that if you kind of um, be able to channel your staying power in the sense of the you know being able to uh, pay a little bit more close attention to the small things that are surrounding you 
then it is likely that people will entrust you even more and they will entrust you with the leadership even if you are not proclaimed as such right so you don't have to be uh, on paper a leader but people will really rely on your opinion and on your performance as well either regarding relationship or either regarding career and that is very well displayed here into the uh, guidance card which uh, asks you to be um, to uh, yeah, to be more professional if we're talking about career, but that was not the thing I was searching for to say. It is more like to clinch upon the sense of that you do have about the human nature. That being said, um, there will be a capabilities of other people that you can make a use of for the greater good, for the common good. It is not just for your personal benefit, but for the unfoldment of the project, for the benefit of the relationship, etc., etc. And also, this car represents uh, having knack for making joy in life. So, uh, as, as um, kind of like uh, as soon as you do have time for it, please, guys, enjoy yourself with whatever makes makes you feel happy and whatever makes you feel kind of like amused and enthralled as well. So, with that being said, this was your weekly tower reading Aries for for August sixth to August twelfth. 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.